Christine, Sassy Southern Home. Welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get uh, notifications when I upload. I upload once a week. So this week, Valentine's Day is coming. We got to get our homes Cupid ready. So I've just had some easy DIY Valentine's Day decor for you guys. Please tune in. Hope you enjoy. Remember, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Let's get crafting. Our first project, I have some flowers here that I got from Walmart. And if you've watched any of my other videos, a good bit of them, these little wreaths that I've got, I get these from Hobby Lobby and I just keep reusing them. So I use my floral wire, just a thin wire. And I use them to actually just wrap whatever I'm going to put on the wreath around instead of hot gluing it. Now, some things I do hot glue, but I try to use the floral wire. It's just easier to take off. So I'm just going to cut which flowers I want to use. And um, then I'm just going to take this floral wire, position them where I want them, and take the floral wire to use that to attach them. You can see me here, I'm just rearranging the flowers. You don't have to use them in the manner that they were uh, presented on the bush. I just take off the tops and put them on there as I want them. And here you can see me, this is where I'm wrapping the floral wire. And just make sure you've got it as tight as you possibly can get it. Twist it a few times and then you're good to go. So that'll last you through whatever season that you're running and then you can easily take that off and reuse it for the next occasion. And this is our finished project. That one was quick and easy. Now most of these items, if not all these items, I got from Dollar Tree. So I just got these little plaques. I got four of them to make a pretty large um, little piece. And this is going to serve as our little background piece of wood. And I'm going to use some of these um, craft sticks to help hold it. And this little sign I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm using some vinyl paper. I don't have a Cricut, so I've never worked with the vinyl paper. But I just wanted to use that as a background instead of painting. And it worked pretty good. You can kind of see a seam because this didn't lay exactly flat. But it worked pretty good. So you're going to glue all your wood pieces together take the craft sticks you want those just for support on the back so i'm going to do two long ones and then i'm going to cut one or two and use them as additional supports across the middle section so then we're just going to take the craft paper this vinyl paper and i'm just going to cut it down to size or a more manageable size and then i'm going to use my scissors and over here, I've got a little, you can see the little sanding block. I'm going to use that to, on the edges, just to sand at it to get the vinyl off on the edges. Just to make it as clean as I can. Now, you can use an X-Acto knife as well. So, I'm just going to peel that back, put that on there. And again, this wasn't exactly flat, so it did have a little crease, but it still looks cute. And your sign pretty much covers it up anyhow. So, once you get that all done, you're going to take the little love lives here sign from dollar tree i'm going to take the little rope off i'm going to use that but i'm going to attach that to the back of our little um pallet boards whatever you want to call them so i'm just going to take that off and then i'm going to hot glue the sign in the center and then those um same roses that i got from walmart i'm going to use a couple of those to put on here as well so this is where I'm just attaching or reattaching to the back of the pallets. I'm going to call them pallets. The um, rope to hang it with because there was no need to use another one. We can just reuse that one. So I think I've cut two here. I'm going to cut those and then figure out the placement of where I want to hot glue them. And I'm going to hot glue those.
And they have lots of flowers at um, Dollar Tree, too. And I have picked up some flowers from Dollar Tree. So this, this could be an all Dollar Tree project. So here is the finished. And I thought this was real cute. And again, you don't have to use the vinyl paper, but I just wanted to try it. This, they have three hearts hanging. I'm only going to use two for this project, but you can use three. It's just, it takes a little bit longer than I thought it would, so I'm only going to use two. So I'm going to cut off, it comes with some little hangers. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut off all this red garland. Then it's going to have all these little knobs is how they grip the garland to it. You can see them sticking out here. You need to take your little floral wire cutters and go cut all of those off as well. These I've got for these um, ribbon. Um, it's like a, a velvety. I got from Dollar Tree and I got a white, pink, and a red. Now they're not very long. There's not a whole lot on the spool. So you're going to use all of it. And I took each roll and split it in half because it's a little too thick for this project. And it does, like I say, it does take all three rolls basically to do the project. And that's on the two hearts. So what I'm going to do is start at the center of the heart on one side. I'm going to glue whichever color you want to use, but I glue the white on one side and then the pink on the other. And the other heart, I did the opposite sides. So you just want to make sure you glue it down good and then take it out as close to the edge as you can and then glue the very edge of it and keep it as tight as you can. Now at the end, I did have to go back and readjust some spots because it kind of sticks up once you start going around that circular edge but I just kind of glued, hot glued those down on the back once I got through. So you're going to get all the way down to the middle. And then you're going to start your other opposite color. You're going to see here at the bottom where I left like some tails and I left that. It was a little bit cleaner to tuck those back, hot glue those down and then cut those. It just made it a little bit cleaner than trying to cut it at an angle or whatever. So now I'm just going to work on my second one. And again, I uh, did the pink and the white on the opposite sides. Same premise. Hot glue it down on the back to begin with. Start wrapping. You don't have to glue every time you wrap. I probably glued every second or third time that I went around. And just glue close to the edge. You just don't want to have a lot of hot glue coming out of the ribbon. So again, wrap it as tight as you can. When you get around to those um, circular sides there on the heart, you're going to find that probably you're going to have to go on the back pull and tuck and hot glue some so here we are finishing up and then the red ribbon so the red ribbon is going to be our hanger and you're going to use all of it so what i did was glue the bottom one and then i found my placement where i wanted to glue the top one at and i wanted to leave a good little bit of space there and then when i got through gluing that i actually took what wasn't used as a hanger so you got to leave a little bit for your little hanger and then glue that down to the top but then i'm going to use the rest of it um to double back on itself and hot glue that down so you'll see me um i think i you see it i'm going to flip these back over and glue that back down and that's just for support that way you've got a double and then i glued it all the way down so it hangs but here's our finished project Next project, I got these um, scrap fabrics from Dollar Tree, and I got pink and red. I'm just going to cut these some long ways. I'm going to turn the cloth sometimes. I wanted some shorter pieces. Now, I could have put these on my cutting mat and made them exactly straight, but it really doesn't matter because it's going to look kind of ragged once you finish the project, and that's the cuteness of it. So... I didn't cut straight. You could have put it on a cutting mat and used my little rolling tool, whatever they call that, to cut it. But um, I I'm just going to cut them. They're not going to be exact. 
doesn't matter if you've got fabric that frays that would be cute as well I kind of wish this cotton would have frayed a little bit more but anyhow you want it to look kind of rough looking if that makes sense you'll see it once we get it up but just cut long ways turn it around and cut the short pieces you want all different lengths and you're not gonna put them in any kind of order I got this pack of hearts and it was eight hearts from Hobby Lobby I couldn't find anything at the Dollar Tree now your Dollar Tree might have something but I couldn't find any so I'm gonna paint four pink and four red and I did not use all eight for this project so I've used some in some other projects, but I did not have to use all eight. So I'm just going to paint these and I'm going to paint them front and back two coats because the way it's going to hang, you may be able to see the back. So you just want to make sure that the sides, the edges and the back are painted as well. Then I had some beads that I got from, um, you just going to see me here painting the red one. I got a pack of beads that I got that were, I think it's only two sizes from Hobby Lobby as well. And I am going to paint those white. Now, I wasn't sure of my pattern. So what I counted out, I actually had to go back and paint a few more of the smaller ones. But, I mean, that didn't take any time to do. But anyhow, so I'm just going to paint some white beads as well. There's the pack of beads there. And then we're going to assemble all of this once all of our paint is dry. And for our assembly, we are going to use the hearts, the strips of fabric, and the beads. And also, I bought this sisal rope. Now, you can use jute twine or whatever you have. But I used this sisal rope, and I measured out my mantle and added about 18 inches. Now, once I got through, it did not go the length of the mantle, and it's fine by me because it, it was a good little bit of work to get this done. So, it just depends on how much work you want to do. And how long you want it. But I'm fine with the length that it had. But just remember that if you want it the whole length of your mantle. I would say add two and a half, three feet. So I took the jute. The sisal. Sorry. The sisal. I guess I'm saying that right. The sisal rope. And I found the center of it. Now that didn't really matter. Because once you started tying stuff and putting stuff on. It really didn't center up in the end. And I just cut the rope. to For it all to be even. But. So I took the first heart, I found the center, took the first heart and glued it on and glued the string about halfway through the heart. I started hot gluing and then remembered I bought this nifty little pack of hot glue finger protectors <laughs> or maybe sewing protectors too, I guess. Um, like thimbles like our grandparents used to use or our parents used to use. But anyhow, so I bought these at Dollar Tree. So I put one on and I'm telling you it works fantastic. Get you some. I hate that hot glue. It burns the crap out of my fingers every time. So my pattern was I used the beads and you're going to start in the center and you're going to work your way out. So I would do one side then do the other. But so my beads were the smaller bead, larger bead, smaller bead. So you do that on both sides. And I did tie a little knot and that's where it took some of my little um, string up. I did tie a little knot after the beads. Not really necessary, but I did just to kind of keep it from sliding so much. You want everything pretty tight. I didn't want much gaps in there. Then after that, you're going to do three of the fabric scraps. Now, my pattern on that was on one side, it was red, pink, red. And on the other side, it was pink, red, pink. I just grabbed them at random. I did not look to see if they were the shorter or the longer. And I think it's cuter because it is at random. So I just grabbed them at random and put them on there. So you're just going to work your way down. And like I said, I did not use all my hearts. I think I only ended up using four hearts. But to me, it looked nice on my mantle. So that's what I went with. But you can certainly do more. 
But this is a cute little, it, it's got kind of a, I guess, a country touch to it. But it really is a cute little item that um, I haven't seen anything like this anywhere. I've, I've seen some garlands, but nothing like this. And, and it really was cute. So, so we're just going to keep on working. And like I said, it did take a little while to do it. And I did have to go back and paint a few more beads. And then in the very end, I did not do the three beads. I think I did one bead on each side on the end. And then I just hung it up on my mantle. So we're just going to finish up working here. See, that took a while and that was just the first heart. So <laughs> you still got the other hearts to do. But like I say, start in the center, work your way out. That makes it as even as possible. And you're going to have to do that anyhow because of your placement of your beads and all. It's just easiest to work that way. See, this is taking a while for us to do, so this is kind of a long project and why I didn't use all of my hearts. But anyhow, here it is hanging up on my mantle, and I just think it's adorable. It's prettier in person. Next project. So, again, this is one of my little wreaths from Hobby Lobby, and I think you get a pack of two or three, maybe just two, but... Anyhow, I just keep using them over and over. So I had used this one at Christmas time. So I'm just going to deconstruct it. And I did hot glue several of these items. So I'm just going to deconstruct it. And then reuse it to make a little Valentine's wreath. These little flowers here, um, I got these from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use not... All of them but some of the pink and some of the red and I'm going to use my floral wire to attach them again and I'm just going to figure out the placement of them I kind of liked it going up a side and kind of coming down and when I get to the end one you'll see I turn it the opposite direction that makes it all kind of look full and I did take off some of these little it's like some little grassy, I don't know, things in between. I did take some of those off and put those on individually as well as you use them on the stem. It made it look fuller and it covered up the stems. So that, and that's why I wanted to switch one the opposite direction just to help cover up where the stems are going to be. So here I am with my little trusty little floral wire. I got through a bunch of that and wrap them real tight and and then sometimes I would wrap once I got to the second one I would wrap it again just to make sure that it's all tied down real well and just make sure you pull it tight and you could see me here and on several pieces I actually did not go just all the way around the um, wreath with the wire I kind of went in between I thought that would be a little bit more secure. And I like the pattern of the red, the pink, red, pink, and some of the greenery in between. I just like to alternate them that way. So just put it down however you want to get it kind of full. And again, I'm only going to do the one side of it. We're finishing up here with the flowers and you can see where I reversed the flower to make it look full and cover up the stem. And I'm just going to bind all that down good. Then I picked up this little love sign from Hobby Lobby. And I liked it natural. You could stain it, you could paint it, whatever, but I really like the natural look of it. Probably because the flowers are so bright. I just like that wood look to it so I'm just going to take my floral wire again and you can hot glue it 
but I'm just going to take my floral wire and put some through the um, end letters and then just attach it that way. Now, of course, you can see the floral wire, but you're really not going to notice it unless you get up on it. And it's so daggum cute that who's going to pay attention to it anyhow. So I figured out which way I was going to put it. And I kind of went this way with it to, again, help cover up that void where the stems are. And then use your floral wire to attach it. And just pull it down good and tight again. This is your finished project. And then I'm going to show it to you where I put it on my little home sign that I use over and over again for different seasons. <laughs> 